the Age of Discovery, also called the Age of Exploration, took place from the 15th to the 17th century. It was a time when sailors from different European countries set out on journeys to discover, settle, and conquer new lands around the world. This era of extensive exploration and discovery was driven by three main factors that came together. Firstly, the decline of the Mongol Empire disrupted land trade routes, which led to a need to find new ways to reach valuable goods. This made European nations look for different routes and methods of transportation. Secondly, the control of Mediterranean trade routes by the Ottoman Turks and Venetians motivated Europeans to search for new sea routes. They wanted to bypass these monopolies and establish direct trade connections with the East, which encouraged the exploration of new maritime paths. Lastly, the emergence of new nations along the Atlantic coast of Europe, like Portugal and Spain, sparked a strong interest in overseas trade and exploration. These rising powers wanted to expand their influence, wealth, and access to resources through maritime ventures. One of the key figures in the early phase of the Age of Discovery was Henry the Navigator, a Portuguese prince. He played a pivotal role in initiating significant expeditions, particularly the quest for a southern sea route to Cathay, China. On the other hand, the Bellingshausen expedition, led by Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen and Mikhail Lazarev, is often considered one of the expeditions that marked the end of the Age of Discovery. In 1820, the Russian expedition made the first verified sighting of Antarctica, after encountering ice fields and documenting their findings. This discovery added to the growing body of knowledge about the world's geography. It is worth noting that even after the Bellingshausen expedition, there remained one significant landmass yet to be fully explored, Sevenaya Zemlya, a challenging archipelago of polar desert located near the Siberian coastline. Although it was discovered in 1913, it was not until 1930 that it was thoroughly explored. 